Here we go. G'day, Stu from UAV Pooches, and welcome to the FPV Mix, the greatest live stream on the internet, or what this is. This is a drone-related podcast live stream, but we never know where it's going to end up, and what I want you to do. You have one goal, ladies and gentlemen. You need to sit back, Relax and enjoy yourself for the next 90 minutes, however you want to do that. It could be physically, it could be with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, whatever you want to partake in. Sit back, relax, you might have a a long day of work coming up and need to sort of uh, get in the zone. Or maybe you've been at work all day and you just want to chill out, talk some drones. Well, uh, you are in uh, the uh, right place. Let me get this microphone in the correct place position um, uh, right here but how are we all going i can see a absolute a bunch of uh, legends in here we've got iris7 driver he's saying hello everyone we've got johnny d r c chris mel uh, random so many uh, just nice genuine kind people here in the chat of course we've got charlie pooch who is asleep down there behind me we've got good old doggo cam it is up it is working i am here i've got myself my cup of coffee i've got myself my soda water the sun is shining we've had breakfast we are ready to rock and roll do the fpv mix we've got a big show coming up today of course we're going to be having things like uh this bad boy We'll have a little bit of Donnie on there. We're going to, man, I'm pushing all the sound buttons. We're going to be doing the UAV news with Raven FPV. We'll stop that sound bite. Wait till he's here. So we've got the news coming up, and uh, he's going to be jumping in sometime, just hanging out, having some fun, talking to us as well, answering your questions. Ben is saying he should make a cup of tea. Absolutely. Go make yourself a cup of tea there. Sit back, relax, Benny. And uh, we've got Chuck Toast as well, and me, me, me. We've got JFPV saying, stop talking about sausage. Uh, why we do that? I don't know what he's going on about there. And uh, JTC's been listening pretty regularly for the past couple of weeks. Great show, show Stuart. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, my heart is palpitating, though. We just had Johnny DRC kicking it off with the first donation of the day as well. Um, and I should say, look, we've got some giveaways coming up as well. Johnny DRC uh, sent it through a $5 donation saying, hello, Stu and Charlie. Have a treat. Uh, when you get up, I've got a Charlie's treat right here. Here you go, Charlie. That's from Johnny DRC. And Charlie's probably like, what? Is that, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, mate, I've got to get you some more treats. I'm sorry. Believe it or not, we've actually run out of dog food. I need to go to the supermarket today. I have I have six bits of kibble left, guys, so we're going to really have to space those out, please. Uh, let's be considerate there. <laughs> Charlie, you've got six individual bits of uh, kibble. The, the uh, cupboard is bare, but thank you very much, Johnny D. I'll see you later on in the show as well. Man, I've got cords everywhere. Um... Get that out of the way. We're going to be giving away this, so uh, we haven't had any jackpot winners for this bad boy, as well as uh, this bad boy. Um, so I'll be putting your name in the draw as well, Johnny D R C. Uh, this is this week's draw. Um, I what do you call this? So Hyper Bowler. And if you see Sean Winner Williams in here in the chat, ask him how he, these things go because he won one of these off us um, a little while ago. We sent it to him. And uh, he, I think he's been enjoying it, actually, ripping it around. Random is saying, cut Raven off now. Jay, FPV. Uh, he's still talking about some sausages. We've got Limbo Drones for FPV nodes. He's saying, stop eating dingo babies. You're getting so fat. <laughs> Mate, it's not those. It's not the dingo snags. It's uh, just a good old chocolates and dad life. A couple of uh, Cornetto ice creams. Oh, let me eat those Doritos. That's what it is. And a lack of exercise. Dad like All the dads in the chat will be like, yep. I know, I know what that's like. We got Gunner in here as well saying morning all. And uh, Ben is answering a Free Sky firmware upgrade question, which I'm not sure who asked that. Um, if I can see. Um, RS7 driver saying, random UAV Futures is failing you. I don't see your name on the board of shame. He's absolutely right. I knew I, I had one job. I had one job, and that was to put random's name on the board as well. I feel bad. I feel bad, random. Yes, we're gonna get, he's going to get inverted. Punctuation uh, is critical. There we go. We're going to get a neck punch. I'm sorry there, um, random. I am going to put your name on the, uh, well, as RS7 driver would say, the wall of shame. Yes, 
Man, I've, I've forgotten that. I feel actually guilty. I am so random family, man. Please forgive me. You can ring me right now on the phone and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll apologize for you right there. Um, Random is saying you should feel bad there, Stuart. Limbo for drones having a laugh as well. Blur is saying none worked. Um, and let's see. He's tried. I'm not too sure what Blur's question is. Blur, if you could write it all in one. He's got an RSSR. I flashed it to the latest D16 firmware. Flashed it uh, to LBT. So he is calling me. Oi. What's going on? What's going on, Random? I'm oh, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm going to put your name on the board, I promise, all right? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Unsubscribing. Welcome to the FPV Mix, where apparently you subscribers are calling into the show and finding out what's going on. What, what have you got on for the rest of the day, Random? Because I'm meant to be doing a live stream, mate. Uh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's shit. it. Hey, you can't say that. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, we're getting out of here because you're making some very weird noises. Sounds like you're in the bathroom, maybe, or something's going on. But I will catch you later, brother. Later, dude. Uh, catch you. All right. If you do have my phone number, uh, guys, please don't call me like Random just did every single day. Hey, Stu, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, Random. I'm just hanging out with my family. You know, you've already called me six times today, man. Um, <laughs> anyway, R7 Driver's having a laugh. Um, Limbo for Drone says, I love you since 2017. Um, there we go. We're bam. Alive with Random. He meant to say shoot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't. He didn't mean to say uh, that's where we're now. I'm gonna see in a moment too. Um, let's have a look here. We have got 78 people watching, 80 people watching. It's getting bigger. 30 likes. Come on, guys. That's like less than half of you hit that like button. Help, help a brother out. Press that like button. Kiz is saying I don't need your number. I can see you through the window. Well, hello, Kiz. How you going out there? We've had Motor Ref. Thank goodness he is here. Um, Motor Ref, I tried to tag you in the Discord, my friend. Can you please send me an email and say it is Motor Ref? I was trying to contact you yesterday uh, so we can organize your prize. Um, and yeah, your email, if we have a look in the Discord, I was like trying to trying to PM you basically or ping you and be like, hey mate, I need to I need you to email me again. Um he's sending through a donation as well. Thank you very much. He's saying make it five bits of kibble. Uh oh, five bits of kibble left. Yes, here you go, Gialli. That is from Motor Rev running low on snacks as well as a re FPV Kia. Um he's saying, Hey Stu, shout out to everyone streaming or what's up with the sausage. Is that a legitimate question? Um, because there is a bit of an origin story to why there is so much sausage chat in the chat. Um, there was a dude, a dude called Drunken FPV. And uh, bless his soul, he, for about the last five years, would just say sausages, sausages. I've even got some sound bites, I think, on my computer somewhere. Uh, let's see, have it listen. Oh, it's not working. It's, it, must, it didn't carry over from my old computer, but... Yeah, pretty much, um, that's all he used to talk about was sausages, and it became a thing, and, uh, then here we are, I don't know, months later, it's still, uh, it's six months later, it's still part of the channel. Inverted FPV said, random, got a job with, uh, Telstra, just to get Stu's number, license rush, and Stu has a stalker, does that mean he's made it now, and is famous? <laughs> Yeah, I can't give you my phone number, but I can happily dock some of my friends' phone numbers. You hear that, Malice Vex? Um, Limbo for Drones is saying, who else is drinking a Baileys? So there you go. I uh, hope you're having a good time. Uh, all things in moderation. I've got my uh, cup of tea, my soda stream. Um, and Chuck Toast is saying, can you please post your phone number, Stu, please? It'll be easy. There we go. And McSweaty is saying, I just started to watch your content. Well, or welcome to the channel, my friend. Welcome to FPV. This is the most important thing. All jokes aside, the uh, we have an amazing audience right here. The amazing FPV live stream family is a very, very special group of people. And I mean that in a nice way. Um, but <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but they are such a kind, caring group of people. And this hobby, honestly... It will change your life. So if you are new to the hobby, if you need FPV, if you've just tuned into this stream and you've never flown one of these little drones before, they are, I guarantee you, they are life-changing. They are going to be such a positive influence on your life. You're going to just get outside more. You're going to explore more, problem solve. You're going to be just meeting new people, learning new skills, learning how to repair like electronics, things like that. It is being creative with making videos. It is just so much fun that uh, it's... It's, 
it's just really, really cool. So welcome to the hobby, and that is what we are here for. We are here to help you get up, get flying, enjoying the skies, and having some fun. Now, Raven is saying it's for, it's 040000, so there we go. Raven's even got my phone number as well. Oh, and Gunner's saying his number is 1-800-FUTURES. There we go. <laughs> I wonder if I could actually, how much it costs to get some of those phone numbers and we could get you guys to ring in and that sort of stuff. Let's see. Jay saying smash that like button. We're at 46 likes. What's about, what's almost, I'd say about 40%. What's 46 out of 85? It's, uh, uh, it's gone the other way. 56%. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Let's see, Chucker FBV is saying my phone number is 1-800-G'day. And you know what, Chucker, who won, I think, was it this gun? Is this what you won, Chucker? Um, it's all getting a bit confusing in my mind. He won this Capiche frame. He lives super close. So uh, he's like a half an hour drive away. We don't even have to go to the post office. We can actually just meet up in the park one day. You know, that's um, meeting, let's, let's meet up with some blokes on the internet in the park. That's what they say is a good idea. And Ben is saying, oh, I found a soda stream alternative. Only problem is I can't get it here, and it's 110 volts only. Um, and Kiz is saying, you should release Malice's address so people can donate shirts to him. Well, the dude, it's hard. He's, he's uh, what you like to call a bit of a nomad right there. Play and hide the drone again. That's absolutely correct. RS7 driver. You know what? I think uh, we are going to move into the news segment in just a, a little bit. I wonder if Raven's going to be here and he's going to be ready because it is time for the UAV news with a Raven FPV. So I'm going to, let's just call him on the, uh, on the studio phone right here. I jump in here and say something like, hello, Raven, mic check, mic check. Are you there live in the field? My FPV, uh, brother, what's going on? Yeah, coming to you live from the field, it's <laughs> the UAV news. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect, mate. We this is our, I was going to say, we could get a job doing this. This actually is my job, so uh, thank you to all those people who are watching. I don't know about how professional it is, though. Pretty uh, professional. What's been happening? Professional. Oh, I had the work Christmas party yesterday, which always means it's coming towards Christmas and the end of the year. So, Did you get your lunch paid for you? Yeah, it was good. I was going to, because I was going to sort of near SeaWorld and stuff, I was going to take the whoop and uh, fly, but it was raining the entire day. Okay. It's, it's, it's absolutely pissing down today as well. So. well. Well, mate, today it's feeling good here. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. It is not mm -hmm. cold. You know, it's t-shirt weather. It's... Uh... Don't worry, by the time you finish streaming, it'll be... Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, completely the opposite. it might be, it might be. So for those of you wondering too, because I live pretty much down the very bottom of Australia, it the weather here is terrible. So Raven, he's come uh, for a few flights. We've uh, done a few little rips together. And when he's crashed down here, it is like, oh, it looks good. Now the weather's terrible. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's sunny. Oh, it's freezing. Man, it is hot right now. All in the space of about 20 minutes. So the weather here is uh, definitely, they say four seasons in one day. We're getting some super chats yep. as well. Chuck is saying, can meet at a public rest stop just ignore kids and random if you see them hanging out there again there we go just behind uh, all these guys was they had these sausages in their hands <laughs> they had a whole it bunch of like they were sharing them with each other and they were covering their face uh, with like these these masks or these goggle kind of things as well and like filming and, each other gee i don't know mayonnaise everywhere oh what no that was, that was ranch bro it was ranch uh, uh, ranch yeah. bad man is just saying hey Stu, <laughs> how's it hanging uh, it's going pretty well my friend i'm feeling good today I had a decent sleep as well. It's amazing what a good sleep does for you. Hey, Raven. Did you eat, like, lots of fat yesterday or something? Because you're sitting at, like, 91 resting. I just had, 90... a, I just had a, uh, a bacon sandwich. There you go. That's why. That's, that's crazy how that, that works. What, so. what, does fat increase your heart rate? Yeah, that's why if you eat, like, lots of fatty stuff and, you know, how, why Elvis died, because he loved deep-fried banana and bacon sandwiches. Yep, yep. Bacon's one of the worst things you can eat for grease. Bro, so I you, eat a lot of bacon. Your usually about 60, 70. Yeah, it is, it is. All right, so, well, we're having a heart attack here. Is that what you're saying? Basically, you're, yeah, you wouldn't want to get too excited right now. You'll be pushing 100. All right, let's see if we can break it. Let's go. Anyway, let's. Are you ready to do some news articles? Um, right here, we can have a, a bit of a chat about some of the latest things with the news, because this is what the segment is. It is the FPV news with a Raven one eight seven. So, what is it? Or the UAV news, we should say. What's yeah, our UAV. What's our first article that you want to talk about? 
Well, are you in the 600 page document or are you in the whatever? New uh, I, I can be in the new one that you oh, yeah, you did share a new one with me. Let me go to my email. The new one's easier just because that 600 page one is broken. Yep, yep. I need to, um, <laughs> I'm not sure how I did that. Let's have a look here. All right, all right, we're gonna get the top story, or what would you like to talk about? We save that one, okay? One, two, and three, then or go four. Go to the Go, go to the third one. All right. Because that's pretty innocuous to start Ooh, off with. What is this? Yeah. Uh, this, I know, right? This is the purple thing, right? Yep. All right, what are we looking so I, at? And what is... So when I saw this, what is, what I just is, thought it'd be... For, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Something on this picture. I'm going to let you talk about it. But this picture, it's like they've cropped something out of here. That's weird. I wonder yeah. what that used to say up the top right there. But what are we looking at, Raven? Uh, well, I always just click through new Banggood stuff because generally that's where you see, um, you know, new stuff. Mm -hmm. That was a waste of a sentence. And I found this and I thought it just looks perfect for, for newbies. Like we always recommend them a whoop, but even those Mobula 6s and the Esheen ones, the U Z65, they're quite, um, fragile sometimes. Mm -hmm. Whereas this thing here looks like... This looks like a bit of a tank. have to replace the frame, hopefully, yeah. Very, Which, very um, robust newbie, looking. Yeah. XT30. Uh, we'll have to see how it holds up, though. It does have a lot of, um, what do you call it, struts? Mm. Uh, what's the technical name for this chat, these parts? All right, so you're saying this could be a fun little decent drone for some people wanting to get into the hobby, practice around flying indoors. I still love the Mob Not 6s. indoors. Oh, it's not indoors. No. I'd be, it'd be a good outdoor trainer, and you can still bash into stuff and be safe. It's, okay. It's 3S. Oh, okay. Okay. That yeah. that's so it does have a, a little bit of power, I guess, behind it. Mm -hmm. All right. Quite interesting. Because a lot of those guys want something fast, they say when they first come in, but if you offer them a one S whoop, they look at the videos and go, Wow. You know, any wind and Yeah, and I feel like it's kind hang of on. Oh, I think I've got hang on, one sec. One second that I can't keep talking. Someone's at the front door. It sounded like he had something ready for us, but there we go. <laughs> Raven 1870 got some stuff to take care of. However, uh, yeah, this week, look, I think one thing Sorry. that... You know, it's all good, bro. I was just saying that you're right. A bit of a newbie trap. They come in and they see that 1S. We're like, no, nah, I don't want that. It doesn't have enough power. I want to go to like a 5-inch just absolute screamer. But they don't have the mm. skills to do that. It's like... Um, right. I don't know, if I was learning to fly a real aircraft, uh, I'd probably want something like an old Cessna or something pretty easy. And if someone said, hey, you want a fighter jet? You know, you'd be like, yeah, that sounds cool. But, but yeah, you're going to die. You're going to crash your drone. You're not going to be able to handle this sort of stuff if you've got It's a great problems. analogy, actually. Are you being serious? You start... No, no, that is. The... I know I take the piss all the time, but uh, that is a great analogy because that's how you start. Yeah, when you start to learn to fly, they don't chuck you in a freaking passenger jet. Yep, yep. Yeah. Or a fighter jet. Yeah, you start in a little... A Cessna. You don't even fly anything, actually. You start in the bloody classroom. In the sim, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. There we go. Let's, let's, let's make our class. <laughs> UAV futures, learn to fly safely. Um, or, 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 no, logically. What, what would be a good way? Let's So we can just bypass the regulations and it applies to everyone. Anyway, a cool little trainer. All right, we'll have to put that in the uh, possible review pile. Let's see if I can get my hands on one. Give it a rip around based as your pearl recommendations. What do you guys think well, about I just, it? I just realized if you scroll down, they're using their own version of the beta FPV radio too. So you must be able to buy a version with that. And um, yeah. Where's this radio? Man, you must have scrolled it's down quite all a way. all the way down. Ooh, they must be selling them everywhere. I've seen a couple of other. I saw yeah. a version where this came with the uh, Tyro 79, actually. It was like mm. an Esheen version. So... I don't know, Velocidrone Simulator. Wait, does it come with a Velocidrone? I don't think so. I think they're using that as like, oh, it'll work with Velocidrone because that's the one sim we found when we did a search. Maybe. Oh, or the radio will work? Someone too who's given them... Oh, uh, yeah. Th those bait FPV radios work on the um, work on the sim. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's all they're saying. It's not saying it comes with a key or anything like that. If it came with no, a... No, no. Why... Guys... Someone, Velocidrone, you should contact Esheen and be like, yo, we'll sell you a key for five bucks. And imagine buying this and it came with a free SIM key. You'd be like, yes, please. Yeah. Man, there's... um. wonder who... It's not Esheen, though. It's Envision. So it, it could be... Something. Esheen, hey, oh, it okay. Be. Okay, I've got to tell you my idea before I forget it, right? So this is, mm -hmm. this is actually not drone related. But chat, let me know what you think. 
Um, so I was watching, uh, everyone's talking about cyberpunk. We're going to talk about it too much. It's a video game, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, in that game, you get like text messages, I think, and your phone blows up and you get PMs or some sort of stuff. And I thought, Raven, why isn't there some sort of app on your phone? <clears throat> like, have you played mm. GTA five? Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Bit. Well, you know how you like answer your phone and that sort of stuff in that game. Why wouldn't yeah. it be better for some immersion to actually have, so your phone has an app on it. And it's got all the messages that come through on your phone. Oh. So you press it. You're like, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then you have to listen to get back to it. Or you get the messages on your phone and you can scroll through and li listen to it. Why is that Why is that not a thing? Why haven't games done that well, just to add that extra that really level of immersion? Idea. Immersion. You shouldn't have said it on a live stream on the internet, though. Yeah, but I <laughs> want it to happen. I don't want the... Oh. I just want, why, why haven't they done that? Does anyone think that that's a, uh, a good yeah, idea? That'd be good. Like, could you see that happening in, like, I don't know, Grand mm. Theft Auto? That blowing up in your phone? Like, oh, yeah, we're having a look. Well, what, what if you had a tablet? Even better, because then you could be like, you could have your GTA Five screen or whatever. There's it is. your map. There's your mini map. But that didn't work with the Switch either. Like, remember that was the whole thing with the Switch. You can do that, and that's not didn't really get used. Maybe. I think, I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're getting sidetracked. What is yeah, the next news article yeah. we are talking about today? What did we end up talking about. Uh, we uh, were just <laughs> talking about a little uh, trainer flight thing. Five to seven minutes of flight time. That's right. Um, Supports professional racing Velocidrone Sim on Steam. That's what it says there with the remote. What's the next one? One, two, three, or right. four? So we've looked at three. Let's get four out of the way. All right. Ooh, that's some... This one's like a, just a meh. Smelly It's pretty cool. Smelly copter. All right. I prefer smell a quad. That's what I call oh. it. They're calling it smell a copter. What is, what is that quad? What are they built here? Check this out. So, all right, so, so can anonymous helicopter yeah. drone can seek out scents with a live moth antenna. Antennae. Antenna. Antennae. Antennae. What, look at these stupid antenna. things they've got on the back here. What is that for? I don't know. Yeah. Like those fins. What are they actually doing? All right, so give me, a Raven, what is, what is, oh, have we even got a video? Oh, what, what <laughs> ad are we going to get? Oh, we didn't oh, even get an ad. build on it too. Beautiful. Man, that doesn't look stable. All right, here we've got what's... I don't want to listen to what this lady's saying. I don't think... The whole point... Don't look at the drone. Like the I'm watching the video. The of the drone yep. is... Like, who cares what that drone is? But the if you look at the actual moth antenna thing, they've got an actual freaking moth antenna on it. From a bug? From a moth. What's it looks like? No, no, no. Pretty no. sure. Hey, what? That's kind of creepy. Little lipo. Oh, oh, this bit on the top right here. Yeah. Do you reckon that's real or fake? I haven't read through the whole thing to see. <laughs> the antenna hey, that Can makes smelly cop uh, so good at smelling there, can remain biologically and chemically active for hours after removal. You're right. Creepy. If you're a moth and they like, hey, can you... Can, can we just borrow can your... Just use that? Oh, man. Yeah. I'll give it back. Let's see. They then removed the moth's antenna and attached it to the smelly copter using tiny wires that could translate the strength, strength, signal strength of odors picked up by the antenna. These antennas remain biologically and chemically active for hours after being removed and stay active even for longer when stored in the fridge. All right, so what is the moth doing? It's just trying to... Well, that'd be a great way to, you know, in the classroom when they're like, oh, whoever smelt it, dealt it. And the teacher's like, that's it, Jimmy. Or uh, that's it, right? We're going to find out. You just take out. Oh, look, there we go. Just grab us a moth yep. out of the fridge. Uh, <laughs> 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 we'll oh, see who geez, did. We'll please. see who did, uh, who really did um, let one rip. But here we go. We've got some, it looks like we've got some other dogs and pooches and that sort of stuff. What do they want to use this for? What application can you see? In the chat, um, where would you use this for? So, of course, we're going to use it to find out whoever smelt it, dealt it in the classroom. But um, where where do you guys think? Uh, You're about to see some examples. I did. I did see someone. Oh, ah. I saw someone like with explosives and gas yeah. leaks. That kind of stuff. Um, it's just, again, a drone putting itself in a position where we don't have to risk human life. But there'll still be a human involved. So the job won't be lost, hopefully. Jay is, Jay is saying, so we've got to put your quad in the fridge now. That's right. You heard it here first. Part of the yep. new FAA regulations, all drones must be kept in in the fridge. Uh, Gunner's saying a drug smithing, drug sm sniffing drone yep, coming true. soon. Um, that's true. Drew reckons it's not real. Um, and Jay's saying, let me, go fl let me go fly, hold my quad. It's in the fridge. My whole 
My wife is going to be like, WTF, gas, gas leaks in a factory, women's perfume, um, finding lamp, which is all the, the things, uh, <laughs> um, it, to find where I left my stash, there you go, uh, where'd I leave my lighter, where'd I leave my stuff? Where are my pies, where are my 4 and 20 pies? Oh, that's it, that's it. Uh, well, look, good on them, sorry for the ma moths, they're just cutting their antennae off though, but... Yeah, moths everywhere do not like the story. No, but no, that are, that are like drones story. anyway, so... Um, oh, yeah, they would hate drones. Yeah, uh, cool. I guess they're nighttime creatures. I think this is a pretty cool little story, man. I like it. Thank you very much, IFL Science. Um, it has to be one of the first... Oh, no, nah, the story's gone very viral. Um, it has to be one of the first uh, hybrid drones, maybe, of Bio biology. Yep. And... What are these stupid tabs on the back, though? Like, like aerodynamics ugh. or directing... I don't know. Maybe, no maybe that's like the scent comes in from the front there and goes over the front of the craft. I don't know because yep. knowing from my quadcopter shape experience, that looks detrimental to the flight effects. That could, if it's going forward, yeah, push push it over. You know, I Im imagine you would have to put it in a, a smoke bloody uh, vacuum chamber. Yep, yep. Whatever it Wind is. Wind tunnel -y thing. Yeah. Just to find out what's going on. Yeah, it's uh, mm -hmm. quite quite interesting. All right, jumping back in here. We're going to be looking at the next story of oh. Raven. Uh, yeah. What is what is the moth antenna used for? That's from Drew. It's for you. We we just went through this whole article, Drew, on like it's used for picking up scents. Anyway, uh <laughs> you're going to say something else here. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's used for making hot dogs, mate. Didn't you? Uh, let's have a look here. The next article. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. What are we looking at? What, which one? One, two, two three, or laugh. four? Um, all right. I think we'll talk about the first one for a while. So right. let's just play the second one. Oh, okay. okay. It's a two-parter, so okay. you've got to click the... The second one first? Second link first. Thank yep. you. Ooh. Wow, okay. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And thank you again to Drone, Drone DJ. DJ. Uh, I'm going to post their link in the chat, actually, because they are always making some great stories, beating us to the punch. Um, to be honest, it's Drone DJ, but it's just one guy, Josh Spires, who just smashes it. He must just... Because I think I troll quite a bit for stories. Man, he's just... Every day. All day. All right. Well, what is... Drones drop Mexican mm. City's crime rate by 42%. Man, that's So the theme of this... So there's two stories in this little one story mm -hmm. uh, yeah the first is basically drone and crime um and i thought the mexican one was it's, it's pretty cool it, with the cartels especially again you're not risking as much life but if you can drop crime by 42 percent, that's crazy number yep yep they could be juked stats too i mean you never know yes yes um but i don't think there'd be a point in sort of releasing that i mean yeah it must be working all right. Hard to combat something brand new if they've been doing crime the same way, you know, and it's amazing, really. So let's have a look here. Reduced this crime rate by 42% after implementing drones in the area two years ago, making this blah, 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 blah. Um, when the drones were given the task of giving out messages using a megaphone, ensuring people... I guess it depends what the crime is as well, like if it's like breaking it's curfew and no one yep. was... But then the drones are up there going, beep, 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 get inside, boys. Um, yeah, that sort of stuff. That. It's probably not violent crime. Yeah, it's probably like not like cartel related garbage no. or something like that. But hey, look, it's uh, it's positive anyway. Mexico, very dangerous place. Well, no, exactly. And and forty two percent is it, no, it's, a, it's yep, good. Yep. And if it can, yeah, keep these people safe and um, that sort of stuff, I'm all, I'm all for that. Uh, welcome, Overlord robots. That's right. Well, and to people who say, "Oh, drones spying on us," look, if you're not doing anything wrong. You got nothing to worry about, and Google's listening to you right now. Yeah, phone. Yeah, you know, you hey, have lots of ads about sausages. Good luck, that's later. right. It's like, hey, they're gonna. No, I don't want those drones. They're, they'll see what I'm doing. And I, mate, you walk around with a GPS phone that's listening to you constantly in your pocket. What are yep. you worried about? What one camera is doing? It? Are you kidding me? Like they're listening to everything. <laughs> so, um, hey, did you hear Australia just uh, is passing a bill now? that uh, journalists can go to jail for five years for not giving up their sources and yep. um, you can be interrogated once you hit 14 uh, by government agents. Uh, Australia's really... Uh, thank you very much there, country. Peter Dutton. You, um, 
well, uh, I don't want to, you know, just in case they're listening to this, you know. Have, you know why that can happen? Because well, we don't have a bill we of don't, rights yeah, in this that's country. Right. Yep, yep. It's only us in Israel, I think. That's right. And, you know, also uh, that um, when they talk about, the, you know, when you can't spy on your own citizens, man, we're getting real political here. Uh, just because we Australians can't spy on Australians, like if that's written into a bill of rights, doesn't mean that America can't say to Australia, hey, can you spy on our citizens for us and then just give us yep. the data? Like it's like this little backdoor loop that then they can just collect information. Anyway, let's take those tinfoil hats off, even though it's not tinfoil hat, it's actually just we law are part and regulations. Of the big it's surveillance. Man, I disgusting. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So anyway, New Zealand too, actually. Yeah, but that's so disappointing. Anyway, what are we? We're getting back on to uh, drones, <laughs> drones spying on people. Um, right, so the second story. This is. I'm scrolling me. down a bit, man. I'm seeing some something here. What's that? Uh, leaked DJI FPV in flight. Have you seen this? Uh yeah, but that we we can look at that as part of the. Uh, oh, it's at the bottom of this part. page. Okay. It's too, for me, it was too, um... Yeah, it's two articles. Go for it, bro. What do we got? Yeah, so you got to go back to the document. All right. And go to that YouTube video. Sure, sure. Yeah. So this is the second half of the crime thing, and this is actually... Oh, the wait. coolest FPV video. Oh, I sorry. Think. Oh, okay. So we're going to come back to this one. Yeah. All right, all right. So we're coming back to DJI. We've got <laughs> something else to look at. That's not... Your one is... Ah, oh, I see. There's two links here. FPV and crime. Now I get you. Now I get you. So what is this? You know, the whole two links thing? That's it, that's it. You just it. thought I was just, just rambling, didn't you? Two well, links, one document. On Isn't that what the... Uh, link that's what that was? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, anyway. What are we looking at here? The coolest video... I, I've, yeah, the coolest video I've seen or maybe ever in FPV. And Do I don't I... think it's staged. Okay. Uh, but perhaps just watch it. I th I've got permission from him, so you can have the sound on. There's no music. Did you email him or something? All right, yep. to it. All right, cool, cool, um, yep. But I think near the end, and it's just engine noise, uh, so motor noise uh, near the end when he's flying. So. Okay. All right. So we got it says. He said, F don't judge his exposure because he locks his FPS. But anyway, um, enjoy. All right. FPV drone catches bad guys allegedly stealing packages. Raven says this is the best, best. It, okay. If this, if you enjoy this Coolest, video, we're like, going to hit a thumbs up. I'll give this a thumbs up anyway because he's letting us show up. But if it's, I want on my stream, uh, I want to give a thumbs down if you don't like the video. Thumbs up if you do like the video from now. All right. So let's let's find out what's happening. Red Baron FPV here. This is not our postmaster in the white car. This is people allegedly stealing packages. If you see there, they actually looked in the mailbox. There was nothing in it. Then they drove away. I knew for sure this was not a postmaster. If you watch right here close, you'll see they're pulling a package out of this mailbox. They put it in the vehicle and then they get away with it. There's actually someone in the back seat who sees me and the, the passenger sees me here. I did a screenshot right there of the back of this car. They've got the tag number. Greer City is going to pay them a visit. You notice the driver right there is blocking his face. He does not want me to see him. And the passenger gets out of the car here looking for more stuff to steal and as they get back in they give me the infamous finger and pull away but either way greer city will be paying you a visit here shortly have a good day all right now why this i'm going to mute this uh why yeah. we're just talking about this we're watching the video in the background we've already watched it once through ever that those people are scum don't take people's oh, packages yeah. thieves you you jerks what are you doing and and i just want to point out too right you know if someone was starving and they were in dire circumstances and they had to steal to feed himself or something like that, okay, I'm not going to judge you too harshly because I don't know your situation. These dudes are driving around in a better car than I am stealing people's packages. Yeah. They're like, yeah. the jerks there, like, absolute mm. scum. Um, but this guy, what a legend, you know, was able to get there, get them on, on yeah. camera, chase them down. That is some next level, uh, well, not really piloting skills, but just... That probably would have well for piloting skill. It would have panicked re, there. He re, had to shoot the little gaps, hover there just in front of them, not sort of. It I would have know, like, really deterred them. Do you know what I mean? They probably learned where we're getting out of here. Yeah. Um, so, man, what a what an absolute legend, Red Baron. Uh, awesome job, man. I'm going to say, hopefully, these people get caught. You know what? It'd be great if, if we got the second half of the story. Wouldn't it be nice if they were like, "Hey, we uh, we." Hmm. 
we got them busted or here you can see it in the newspaper and then they were charged with, I don't know, whatever. I think you can get in a lot of trouble for messing with people's mail. Um, uh, in America, definitely. I think it, Like it, a federal it, 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 offense. I don't know yeah. what that means or something like that, but yeah. Uh, are there, are... So do subscribe uh, to Red Baron FB because, oh, yeah, I think he did a great service and he... he, he I'm going to put, um, put that right here in the, Represented in the us really well. Yeah, what a, what a, you know, drones despite, mate, drones are keeping you safe. If your neighbor's flying FPV, you, sh you got your packages covered. What an absolute legend. And what some pieces of scum uh, right here in this white uh, SUV. Let's see what people are saying. Other people say, in America, Drew's saying, yeah, definitely a lot of trouble if you mess with people's mails here. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Chaos is saying, can you link that video in chat? Absolutely. It's in the in chat and it's also titled, if you want to search for it, FPV drone catches bad guys allegedly stealing packages. And I like it how he even put the term allegedly in there. Do you know what I yep. mean? So he's just... Um, he's smart. He's, he's just, covering himself. Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, the infamous finger, a great use of an SPV drone for good. Uh, is that in West uh, Virginia? Seems about right. License to drive saying absolute scum of the earth, these kinds of people. Um, Rhea, South Carolina. All right. Uh, let's see. Dodge is saying, if I am hungry with no money, I would steal food or ask for it. There you go. So um, if you're hungry with no money, Dodge, I'll order you a pizza there. Just pure pineapple. <laughs> my friend and uh um, the dough so he can't pick it off too uh, and smash it right in there yeah let's see chaos is saying everyone should flood the, uh this video with likes and sub blow this up and make the man famous yeah i gave it a little thumbs up there it's had 219 views um hmm. i will also he was on K ken heron i actually have to shout out to ken heron because i was watching his live yesterday that's where i saw yep. he featured it on their news um and the their news guys always does it Always does a really good job. Me and him seem to swap if we sort of get to each other, get to stories first. But all right, no, this one was really cool. I'm going to also post the link in live stream general, uh, just below Kiz's diarrhea video, whatever he's talking about, <laughs> um, right there. <laughs> so it's in the bottom of a live stream general. If you would like to check out this video, if you uh, can't find the link in the chat, it's also going to be here under live stream general chat as well. So very, very cool stuff there by Red Baron FPV. Oh, now, Stuart, I, I was looking for a place. What is uh, it, Raisin? Sure if, do you know? Raisin. Do you know of a place where I could maybe sell some of my old <laughs> FPV gear? <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. If you would like to sell your FPV gear, jump over here for sale used gear. Um, all you need to do, make a little post in this part, and it, yeah, basically uh, somebody will hit you up. I know somebody bought, let's see, oh, Donnie's removed it because it was sold. It was a jumper T16. Uh, it was hmm. $65. Uh, that's just this channel right here. Uh, you can post for pop, buy and sell your gear as well. I'm not too p sure if people put stuff in the buy part. Oh, Jay, wants, he's the lookout for a crossfire module. But uh, the sell part for sure, if you want to sell something, put it in here. And uh, then away you go. Jumping over here to my face cam there. Look, I sent you a story this morning. Um, right. I'm going to open that up. It's not terribly mm -hmm. exciting, but I am a bit of a... Uh, Ridley Scott fan right here or uh, at least some of his earlier movies yeah and so I'm probably just I got hooked by the uh, it's what do you call it in in the news when people say like they give you a catchy headline a catchy picture and then it's like nothing to do with that do you clickbait. know what I mean? yeah okay clickbait there we go there we go so check this out I got <laughs> clickbaited by this article Ridley Scott oh, inspires networks rail cave exploring Drone. So this is from the movie Prometheus, where they send these drones through to map out and yeah. survey an area. I was like, that's pretty cool. And then um, when you go down and you have a look at this one, what they actually do is they drill a big hole down, send this drone around, and then it flies around inside there. It looks way less fancy than um, than it they does. They fold it though. It's pretty cool. They fold the whole drone folds up. It's yeah. Like a little. Um, what's that word? Why do they call Someone it a robot? Out of a cannon that holds it. Uh, I don't know. Something Shay. Anyway, uh, buddy, yeah. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, you got clickbait at it. I did, uh, I did. When you the look... science ones always do that. The science-y, oh, it's BBC too. There you go. <laughs> and do you reckon this will ever... Um ever become a possible like it's like it's like when people say hey i've got this idea what about a drone that does this yeah but the actual limitations of that are never going to happen drone they kind of treat drones like this magical pill that will solve every single problem and if we can put a drone in it it's going to work they don't think about like you've seen those drones that they say things like oh it's going to have 24 hour flight time it would charge mid-air and 
that sort of rubbish. I don't know. That is a thing. We literally looked at that. Remember yeah, but the it's, one on the cable? Uh, oh, yeah, no, the cable. That's tethered. I mean the ones, sorry, yeah, the ones yeah. that are like can fly near other places and get get up, oh, like, okay. like wireless yeah. charging. You know, it's going to be a while before we get... This one is pretty cool, this Ridley Scott one. I, I did think that was pretty fancy. I don't know. What are you guys... That drone that smells stuff, bro, that's never going to happen. Yeah. It's uh, oh. just so impractical. And, it's a cool idea. But... Mate, it's probably so much cheaper just to train a dog than it build... Is, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know how much. Dog well, they're pretty costs. expensive to yeah, train, that's true, but that's true. and a human handler. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are chemical sniffing things, though. All right, um, let's jump over here. The last article of the day. What yes. are we looking at? So, back in uh, November, on the seventh of November, which is the sixth of November for the Americans, we talked about the DJI goggle possibility. Yep. Of the yep. V2. Yep. And we showed the FCC little things, and then I don't know. Seemingly this week, every the FPV, the, a few more things were released, and everyone stood up and went, "Oh wow, it's it's it, you know FPV DJI V2 with the FCC." But yeah, we broke that a month ago, so yep. it was no real surprise to us that it was coming. And, and it was actually uh, Drone DJ that was talking exactly. about this a month ago. So huge shout out um, to them for do for doing this again. Um, yeah, so about a month ago, I think we yeah, we were talking about the V2 goggles, all that sort of stuff. There were some leaks mm. and rumors, and then nobody really spoke about it, and then uh, it's popped up again, but uh, here's what Reddit thinks of the forthcoming DJI FPV drone. Oh, look, it's like, is this collated at all in one nice place? Um, Basically, yeah. And the only diff, what was the only difference now that, that was saying with the FCC? What was, uh, what were they saying about that? Um, is um... It's just that now it's it's, I guess it's more concrete. So they've come out and said, yeah, it's definitely confirmed. But the ones we showed before were still from the FCC. So at that point, I felt it was confirmed anyway because. Well, I've never seen this yeah. picture before. Uh, it's like one with stickers all over the drone and everything like that. It looks pretty. Yeah, no, uh... that was about last week. Okay. Um... There's a checklist there to check. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Things yep. to check. Things that work. And um... all sorts of things. Uh, but yeah, and the pricing I was way out. I said it was going to be two to two and a half because I was just thinking they were going to build in like a repair plan. But people were thinking more like fourteen ninety nine for the fly more combo. Yeah, I don't know if I like. I don't really like to look at the drone. But look, it's not made for us. It's made for other. Not like... made for us. <laughs> or us. Oh, us. Sorry. Yeah, it's made for people. It's like a, it's like a midway point, right? You know, you take a um, mm. you take mm. a whole bunch of people. Who were we? We're 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 a bunch of people who are eating. I'm going to a food analogy, right? We're going to be smashing a heap of steak, right? And then you've got uh, the vegans, who I'm going to say are the veg, who are the. This is going to be a weird analogy. They're the DJI Phantom parts. They've been flying around, and we want to get them over to eating some steak because we know how good a steak is, right? Mm, delicious. So this this package here, this drone that we're looking at. This is like, oh, hey, we've got uh, a nice piece of salmon here. You know, it's a bit of meat. It's not quite as hearty oh, as uh, as the, the steak, but you can come in and give it a go. They're like, man, I kind of like that meat business. What's going on? Give me some steaks after this. They're hooked. We got them. We got them, boys. Then, you know, uh, Bob's your uncle. It's sausages and bacon for breakfast. Having a, uh, a high heartbeat, and they're flying around with FPV racing drones. Um, the old classic salmon steak <laughs> and uh, vegan analogy. That's for... right. That's right. That's what we call it. The salmon classic. steak and vegan analogy. Absolutely. Now, look, I actually have another thing to show you on the screen. I don't know if, I, if I'm if i opening this up. And this is sent in to one of our viewers from Kiz. I took a screenshot in case it got deleted. Man, thank you so much, Chaos. That's been over... Uh, actually 30 minutes since our last uh, donation, so thank you very much there. My friend, he's saying smash the like button if you're enjoying the stream. You absolute legend as well. Name on the board right there at the top. And this stream wouldn't be happening without your support as well. So this graphics card that we are running the stream on is from him. So thank you very much there. Chaos FPV. Check this out, boys and girls. I don't know if you've seen this. Uh, I'm just putting a screenshot on. Um, DJ FPV Digital Goggles V2. We're at Phaser, FPV. Oh, no, no. They've just used... It. Well, yeah, but no. They have uh, used the old photo. I know it's the old photo, but that right there, what does that mean? Like, uh, you what? know, it, it's just quite interesting, I think, that they've got this on here. 
um, that mm. they've made a listing. I don't know if it's them being a little Phaser bit, is, bit dodgy they're, or they're trying to they're snag stupid, some man. early sales or something like that. I'm not too sure. They did that with the... Because they're migrate. Phaser started as a PC supply place, yep. PC parts, and they still have a PC uh, page. But obviously FPV's way more popular or something, getting more traffic. They're migrating their PC, PC stuff over. And when I was looking for the 3070 graphics cards, I don't know how I found it. But on Phaser, they had the 3060 Ti a week before NDA. So it had all the info, photos, and then when I went back the next day, it was, they'd taken it down. Well, so that, they're obviously not that's, that onto it. That's why I took a photo oh, of yeah. this in case it disappeared. Um, we've got some more raced. Super Chats coming in here as well. Uh, Bad Manners is saying, it's the hot dog of drones. Okay, so talking about the other, uh, the DJI one there, right there. And test by uh, only saying pre-order, but it's not because it's it's NBA. out of stock and it's out of stock. It's not it's not even out yet. Yeah. Um. It, this is just them trying to get notify me, trying to get their email subscribers mm. on their marketing list and that sort of stuff. And test oh, pilot Tim sent it through a, a ten dollar donation from NZ. Thank you very much, there, test pilot Tim. Um, let's give Charlie a little snack right here, but what do you guys think about this? But it says the DJI FPV V2 goggles are expected to be announced in January, 2021. Mm. No pricing or further information is currently available. Uh, it's like, I don't know. I, I don't, I think that this is, uh, I don't want to say scam is the right word. Here you go, Charlie, but this is just a way oh, the dog's asleep. Let's not wake him up. Sorry, test pilot, Tim. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I'm not going to wake the dog up. No. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, this is just a way to, if you, if you put your email in here, well, we can just pester you with a whole bunch of, um, <laughs> marketing emails. What do you reckon? Well, that's why I had the 3060 TRs. Oh, okay. And then had a look through phases, other stuff. So yeah, it worked. Do they have any 3080s in there for pushing sale? Pushing the SEO. I don't know. <clears throat> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, there's a 3080 in Australia, then you're doing well. Oh, man, Tony's you got two of them, the jerk. Though. Tony's got two what, of them. Really? Yeah, he does. He Why? does. Uh, he's got one for his sim racing rig, and he yeah. has another one um, in their main computer that his son uses. How so, did he... Oh, pre- what a good dad. Yeah. yeah you know what? Here's a, this is a big shout out to... Uh, actually, he told me not to say anything about that, about how he got the second one. So maybe I should... No, I don't. <laughs> I won't, I won't. But anyway, a a store, I won't say the name of the store, but the son bought a graphics card and he spent a lot of money on it. The next day, they announced the 3080s or whatever and the son was a bit devastated because he'd spent more money for a card that got less. So the store Mm. let him take the old, send the old card back and said, we'll supply you with a, a, one of the 3080s when it comes in. And it took a couple of months, but then that store did that, did that for them. So... That's yeah. good uh, business. I they thought sort of so. Package that thing up and sold it. Anyway. Yeah. I, well, I don't know, man. How many people are going to buy a twenty eighty, uh, whatever Supra or whatever it is when when the thirty eighties are out? Anyway, for more money. Yeah, that's true. That's Moving true. on. Thank you very much. Oh, t- you said thirty eighty. Oh, he bought a twenty eighty. Yes. Ah, yeah. Yes. That makes more. Yeah. That makes yep, more yep, sense. Yep, yep. Uh, Zephyrin is saying what will be for the giveaway today's giveaway is uh, this DJI thing. V2 goggles Zip it, and a DJI FPV drone <laughs> Raven <laughs> reckons we're giving away uh, those things he might be doing that on his live streams but what we've got it is one of these Velrons it is a <laughs> va- va- it's this stupid thing anyway Velron? can someone hurry up Did and win Malice this to name that? so I can choose a drone with a name that <laughs> I can pronounce um <laughs> And those Veyron. people on the short list, Veyron, those people on the short list, uh, you have one of these. Um, those people sent it through some donations and those sort of mm. stuff. You will be winning, or in the chance to win in the big wheel of names, it is the Hyperbola um, Ultralight. And we've had, this is the second one of these we've had to give away. Actually, like so Chaos th- being positive, doesn't matter what the giveaway is, because I'm winning this time. But positivity is important. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and can we just watch the you might as well watch the leaked DJI FPV and oh the, uh, yes yes that was down the bottom of that same art, just the article you were reading oh, alright alright let's have a look here I haven't really watched it either I saw a little bit but it's so fuzzy that um, it could be anything I think it is it, but... hang on I can't I can't find it now I've got to go back to oh here we go leaked DJI FPV in <clears throat> flight this one that's it let me open up this. Probably Got want to it. mute it. I did, I did. I'm getting through these ads. This has had 17,000 views from Drone DJ. Mm. Let's let's have a look here. It's not like oh, we need this the slideshow. 
Oh, are they? Let's have a look. DroneDJ.com. Go it check is. it out. Cool cool dudes. Cool dude, I should say. All right. <laughs> yeah. There are people, dudes there, but it just seems that he, that Josh, does most of the, um, the actual writing. And work. Yeah, so not much. But... Is that it? Man, yeah. what do you mean? DJI, of all the places, this is what they're testing their drone in? Yeah, but they're smart. This is all part of, see, that looks dodgy. Like, I'm not quite sure what it is. It creates this air of mystery around the product. It's brilliant. And it's in some dodgy area. If they did it in some nice area, it all, you know, uh, manicured and stuff, it loses that sort of appeal. Look at the crappy camera work. Man, that noise. Why would you risk your job at DJI or whatever? Well, unless it's just a... a I got a better idea, DJ. How about you send it to UAV Futures to break a story? Um... And I'd email them if I were you. I have emailed them. They don't. They don't ever get back to me. Well, they do get back to me in the most generic, like <laughs> copy and paste message you have ever Auto seen. Auto email response That's generated. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, Bam sent it through some love as well. He's saying, "How's it going?" With a little uh, funny emoji right there, man. All the all the uh, super chats coming through at once. Um, we did have Donnie's one, and he says, just because I like to be a weird, and Silliman, Simon Willeman says, Merry Christmas. Uh, Rice Hamola. That's a 10. Bring the flavors up. That vanilla. That cream. That top note. That's a 10. Oh, what the <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> you, you must have missed yesterday's stream, brother. Oh, I did, I was, God, I was, uh... one of my favorite videos. I'm going to have to play it now for you. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you very much there. Well, Bryce also threw to, sent it through uh, a huge super chat. Thank you very much there. My friend, well, the next time the DOG is awake, we'll give him a little snack on your behalf. Simon sent through some Kiwi dollars as well. If you've got any questions, please, Bryce, throw them down below. We'll do our best to answer it. Help people get flying. Chaos says someone needs to clip that. I'm going to put this video on um, for Raven. I know you might have seen it. I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this video. I just find it absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Hilarious. Even though it's about, it's over 10 years old. Let me have a look here. It is. Let's, let's go. Um, screen share. This is what we're talking about. So in tasting. It's all about that ice cream tasting. Take a small amount right off the top. Sausage ice cream. It doesn't yeah. take much. That's the warmest part right here. Chorizo I'm going to invert the spoon. Cover all 9,000 taste buds. Aerate it, warm it up, driving up that top note, that cream, <laughs> pure vanilla, sweeteners. It reminds me of Tim and Eric. That's what That's a 10. <laughs> it's cold. Eric Wareheim does. Every time, mate, every time. Woo! MPV saying, how do we end up for prizes? There's a giveaway link in, man. My heart rate is up to 102. There we go. Having a uh, having a heart attack right oh, there. there. That ice cream. <laughs> go have another bacon, mate. 100. 102. Woo! Uh, that is up. That's like double That's from my work. resting. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell the missus that. You'll get banned on the bacon. You're having a heart attack there, Stuart. Why is it so high? I can't. What's going on here? It's bacon, man. I'm telling you. that. Look it up. If you, just after you've eaten bacon, your arteries are clogged with grease. It it really is pumping. Mm. Woo! All right. Uh, lay off the methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking bad. Walter, you need it. Walter Jeez, White. Explode. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be dead. Oh gosh, Yay. Scott! Scott is saying, "Doesn't everyone eat that way?" Um, well, Doug, like Doug, broke it, saying, "That's a ten. That's a ten. Actually, Doug, that was a five, mate. That was a five. But thank you very much, there, Doug. Uh, Doug broke it. Definitely broke some at right angles. Uh, right there. If you look oh, in the description, right. there's a link uh, for the giveaway form. Oh, thank you very much, for that. Yeah, if you're worried about the giveaway or you want to enter, or you're worried about missing it. There's a link in the description. Go check it out. Uh, all I need is a name and email, and then we draw one of those out of the hat. You got to be in it to win it, and you got to be uh, watching to make sure that you win. So there you go. And I am putting all those people sent through a donation as well. I'm putting you on the short list. Um, we'll be drawing this prize. This is this week's uh, one. Last week, Chucker FPV. I know that he's watching. He is 
Um, well, we're going to be meeting up in person, actually, meeting someone in the park, hanging out with them. Johnny Nee, what? hanging out in the park. Yeah, I'm going to go meet up with Chuck at FPV, not today. Sounds but... so dodgy. We're going to go meet someone in the park. Yeah, bro, yeah. Uh, yeah. Johnny DRC saying you need to find him for an interview. I don't. This is in 2008, this dude who was doing this ice cream tasting. Um, there's no more information about him. Um, this guy... Let's, this guy could lick the ground in Dallas and tell you who killed JFK. Um, okay, that's, some... <laughs> that's really. I like that. It's really creative. Oh gosh, having too much fun here. <laughs> Welcome to the FPV mix. Mm, Look, this like CIA. Th this is a uh, bit of a random stream. We're hanging out with our resident co-host once a week, or a raven, a raven FPV, Raven One Eight Seven. Just talking all things drones, talking DJI, talking FPV. If you've got some questions, throw them down below. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, grab yourself a beer. We're hanging out probably for the next half an hour. We've got some giveaways as well. We're going to be doing daily dose of Donny. And apparently he's got a uh, cool little trick to show us that it might be uh, might be ready, might not be. I'm just looking at my hair here. This looks, did I even do my hair uh, today? I'm not, not too sure. You just ran your bacony hands. Yeah, that's it. it. Make who needs gel or a hair product when you can just make your own with the stuff from your arteries. Chaos things record it so we can meet up. That's at Chucker FBV. And make your own hair gel, uh, you reckon? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <There's a movie. laughs> Where did it go? And Dazbug <laughs> is saying, hey, UAV Futures, how's it going, mate? It is going. Uh, it's going pretty well. I'm, I'm hanging out, having fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me find out how many likes do we have. We've got a super chat coming in. Man, we're up to 126 likes coming. Oh, sorry, 124 viewers with 91 likes. And I know based on the analytics that... I'm going to say 60% of the people watching right now have not pressed that thumbs up button. So what is, uh, if 90 is 60 is 40%, we can probably get 140 likes in the next three minutes with your help right now. If that is you, press that thumbs up button. And, uh, Your ratio, you're almost at 100 out of 120. Yeah, but those people come and go. So someone would have come and that, that's... <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Anyway, g'day! All right, all right, all right. Let, let, let's move on. Hobby Greater Center, press the thumbs up button. HGL, HGLG, HGLRC makes a great under eye cream. Uh, do they really? I've got, I'm wearing a HGLRC t shirt today. Um, and do you know, this is kind of, uh, I don't know if this is embarrassing or a good thing or not, Raven, um, mm. but most of my clothing is FPV related. Like if I look at my wardrobe now, all the sh I haven't bought new clothes that are non FPV for. I don't know. The last time I bought it, I have not bought a T-shirt anyway that's not an FPV T-shirt in the last, like, four years. Why would you? Yeah. FPV T-shirts are awesome. Yeah, I, I, they, they really are, aren't they? So, uh, yeah. Every, usually made well. Um, so, you know, HDLRC, Diatone, Armiton, Emacs. The best feeling ones are the TBS ones, I reckon, out of the ones I've tried so far. They're very thick. The most comfortable. Yeah, they, yeah. Are, they, are, they are quite a thick um, cotton blend. Great for winter. Uh, right there, yeah. You know what my fa one of my favorite shirts, though, is? Um, is the, did you hear the story about my Emacs, um, yep. t-shirt? Oh, okay. Yep. You got it from the boss in China when you went there. That's right. That's right. From you asked him for, you asked him for something. I asked him for the, he, he's like, Hey, do you want one of these shirts? I was like, Hey, do you have any of that one? And he's, I was like that one, I'll, I'll take that one that you're wearing. And then, so that's I had a UAV future shirt. I swapped him right then and there. He probably was just mm. being polite and be like, man, I don't want this, uh, sweaty Australian guy's shirt what a drongo let's bet i bet it in thailand they wouldn't have done yeah you would have got in trouble <laughs> would you i think china wouldn't be yeah because yeah i think anyway he was pretty cool so i have uh, em uh bob uh the head of his head of emacs i stole pretty much stole this shirt <laughs> literally off his back chaos is saying what size shirt do you wear mate um i probably a large i would say uh large american size i don't know um Russ Wolf says I was number 87 no idea what he's talking about I think he was born in 1687 and uh, let's see um I also have a really cool t-shirt uh from RS7 driver we got the other week in a in a little package and we have a Christmas package coming from him as well that Ooh. we're going to be opening on the Christmas live stream now, I'm going to throw you under not throw you under the bus here Raven what are you doing on Christmas mm. brother uh, I've been doing mates, but I usually do a mates place. Oh, with his, well, uh, sort of family every year. Right. So uh, once you finish doing there, if you are around, all day though. If you yeah, are around at some time, um, you know, tea time or something, Aussie time, seeing mm. what you're doing, 
I'm going to be doing a Christmas special if you would like to come on, talk all okay. things drones, talk all things Christmas. Maybe we'll play some Rocket League, just hang out, do something a little bit different for Christmas because I know there's a lot of people out there. You can't see your loved ones or your family or maybe you're stuck at work or stuck on the road, you're in isolation, mm. whatever it's going to be with lockdown. I uh, thought I might do a Christmas stream. We're going to get some giveaways, have some fun, make some people's days as well. So I don't know if you're around, Raymond. good weather, I'll better go flying. Yeah, that's true. do some live stream flying. Oh, yeah, yeah that, would be, that would be awesome. Get some of that organized. Um, and uh, it's pretty easy. 507 saying, I've won FPV shirt. The one I designed, it says, change your view, fly FPV. That's not a bad little slogan. I like that. Uh, not as good as uh, don't make content, make memories. Uh, UAV Futures 2020. Um, mm-hmm. Don't auto scan or I'll punch you in the neck. That's it. That's it. Friends don't let friends auto scan. Rob Haluge is saying, can you arm a drone with a Nerf gun and a gel ball gun? Uh, yeah, it's been done before. Um... And JFPV says, Ross been liking the stream for centuries. That's right. Hey, we got to 104 likes. 116 people are watching. Um, and Richard, oh yeah, is talking about there is drone, there is videos on YouTube with a drone and a, a Nerf gun. And William is saying you should make a drone, you should make a t-shirt with the dog on it. Well, I do have that, that brown Labrador shirt that I wear. Occasionally, uh, what's your Charlie would be good on a t shirt? He would that shot of him you use on your um, your thumbnail. Oh, yes, yes, okay, yeah, that'd, that'd be hilarious with yeah. goggles on or something. And what, 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 what's the slogan? What's he going to be saying? Do a five dollar donation know. so I can have a dog snack. <laughs> you don't even need a um, slogan for with that, yeah, true, true. People would be like, imagine walking down the street with that t shirt on, and this would be the <laughs> pinnacle of like. When Charlie's made it, and I'd be like, the, we have reached critical, critical mass of popularity on the channel. If two strangers walk past each other and one had Charlie on a t-shirt and someone went, hey, is that Charlie from the FPV mix? I'd be like, yes, that's it. It's done. <laughs> someone give him five bucks. <laughs> the shirt just eats him like some sort of uh, alien. Anyway. Uh, license drive says, I've been wondering how to make a mechanism that can pull the trigger, pull, pull a party popper. Uh, the champagne bottle shape type, so I can put it on a quad. Well, don't do that because you've got to... Servo. Be... Yeah, and also, just not... it. You could probably get in trouble because I think that is a small... Is that considered an explosive? I'm not too sure. But you don't want to stick that sort of stuff on, on drones. In your it? backyard or something. Yeah, yeah, right. just don't film it or tell anyone. It starts, no. says, is the Xmas special on your Xmas day or ours, i.e. today is your Saturday but our Friday? I am going to be doing it late into the evening. Uh, to give more people a mm. Christmas, de- like so, it's more people's Christmas if that makes sense. So it'll be towards. It might even be at my like ten p.m. or something at night, depending on how I'm, how I'm feeling. I haven't picked an exact time uh, because I don't know exactly what is happening. But um, that's a big call too. If you you've got two kids and you want to be up till ten p.m. starting a live stream on Christmas Day. Man, yeah, it's all right. It'll be all right, mate. You're always. Talking I suppose about your kids are young still, and, so it's and, not like they'll be up. Yeah, super early. And and plus, uh, I don't think I I don't drink too much anyway. So usually, you know, back in the yeah. day uh, on Christmas Day, you'd get a little bit tanked and you you'd pretty much be asleep by like six o'clock and so full <laughs> of food. But so I did yesterday. <laughs> since uh, since I don't drink uh, very much anymore in my old age, uh, it's it's probably I don't think I'm going to be um, asleep or anything like that. Clip that t-shirts. Johnny DRC is saying good luck with that, and Will is saying you should have Charlie dreaming of dog treats on the t-shirt. Okay. Uh, and if you're new, don't buy Wakira stuff, don't buy Spectrum stuff, they suck. That is from Chuck Toast, and some good advice there. Uh, Wakira, we spoke about this a little bit a while ago. Raven, what do you think about Wakira? I'm going to get a picture of the Wakira Runner 250 up on the screen. Oh, yeah, just before that, though, oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. idea from Will Haynes is good, actually. What is it? That'd be a great, if he's dreaming of a treat. Oh, ah, yep, yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, the Wakira, yeah, no. <laughs> we did talk about that yeah. this week, I think, or last week. Are they still making stuff? Toy grade, probably. I'm gonna have I tried a... to sort of dabble in FPV. I'm going to search by newest on bangers and see what we get. Oh, no, I don't think they were bangers. I think they're more like... Well, maybe they were. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go most expensive. They've got a website. Racing drones. Oh, here we go. Here's all their drones. Let's uh, see. Where is the... They're doing... It looks like they're doing a lot of helicopter stuff. Um. Yeah, there's not... Not much, just Wakira, Wakira helicopters. 
on their drone page. All they have is technical support and no information at all. <laughs> Look here at F210. Uh, so the names of them are, hang on, the 215. The Furious 215 is probably their best and most recent one. And there was the Rodeo 110 and the Runner 250. And hang on, they did one on flight test. Hey, what's this one? I'm putting me. The Furious 215 was their new one. Let's have that a look. Was... What did flight test say about it? Oh, oh, they're doing it in 3D. Man, look at the prop nuts we've got on here. I quite like flight what... test. Man, they've exploded. What year was that? 2016. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> I think it had one crash and it was on fire. Yep. Yeah, look at this. Look at this thing. Let me let's get that in shot. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, well that one's a piece of crap. But search up the <laughs> Furious 215 Walkera. I need to sneeze. If, um, you think they did? <coughs> oh, look, it's got an arm missing already. Um I think. Yeah, these drones here are this is this T-Bone FPV? I'm not too sure if that's uh that's T-Bone. Um he seems quite nice. He has a new channel, actually. I watched a, a little video of his this morning. It's like 2,000 subscribers. He's moved on. Oh, yeah. um, let's see. Johnny DRC saying, I had an F215 and it was junk. Rodeo 150, I have one. Um, and Ben is saying, a computer with UAV Futures logo on it and a YouTube symbol and Charlotte looking at it, thinking of treats, and the computer is making a bing sound. I don't know. Um, you get the picture anyway. There we go. So Ben has designed the complete shirt with a lot of stuff going on there, but in text format. Um, and then you just have a bit of bottom text underneath that. And Drew Graham is, what do you think is past space? What do you think is past space or the universe? They say the universe is always expanding, but what is ex is it expanding to? What's past the universe? What do you think about that one, um, Raven? Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> I was on down for a second there. <laughs> yeah, I wholeheartedly. Uh, I think it's yes. just full of sausages, mate. That's what's out there. Nothing but nothing but some of that. Uh, bad Metas is. I oh, sent her a super chat. Thank you very much. There, Bad Metas saying, uh, "Bless you." You know what? I think it might be time. Oh, did you want me to Google something, or I was going to do a daily dose of Donny? Yeah, do the daily dose of Donnie. I'm just going to You go do you, mate. You, you do you. You partake in whatever you want to uh, partake in. Some chocolate milk or whatever it is that you're going to be drinking. You hang out there. I right. am uh, going to be doing, because you know what? It is time. What's going on? It's time. Thanks to Fitz's sound effect there. We're going to be doing a what's going on or with the Don. We're going to wait and see. I, I don't really give Donnie much warning right here. Donnie, Donnie, can you hear me? Donnie, my friend, are you there? I said Donnie, Donnie. Da -da 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 <laughs> Donnie, are you there, brother? No, I'm not. Ah, oh, Donnie, where have you gone, my friend? Maybe you're muted, maybe you're not there. Let me check these microphone settings. Mic check, mic check. Daily dose of Donny. I'm going to see what... Oh, he's in the wrong channel. Donny, I'm going to come and jump in here. Donny, can you hear me? Da -da 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 -da. You beat me, I was just going to move. But, All right, uh... I'll move you down here, hang on. All right, we've got Donnie in here. Now Raven can uh, chime in if he ever wants to. Well, what's going on, Donnie? I've got to play my sound effect again. With what's going on with the Donnie? A daily dose of Donnie. What's been happening, my friend? Oh, just hanging out. Uh, just uh, finally getting this video done, and uh, I'm gonna put it in. Links go here. All right. Twenty-second uh, clip. All right. I heard you had a. Out. You heard you had a good flight trip. day. Is that correct? Not a good flight, babe, but not a new trick. All right, let me... I heard you say something about a trick. I'm like, no, I'm not that good, Stu, but it still is cool. <laughs> all right, all right. You tell me, uh, let me Let me have a One look here. here. I'm going to find this little clip. So this is the Daily Dose of Don. Once a week, we check in with Donnie. We find out what he's been up to. Excuse me. Now, just... the I got motor noise in there. There's no music or anything, so if you want to just kind of... All right, I'm opening it up on the, YouTube. I mean the music, so. Motor um, noise. It might be a little loud, though. That's all. And it's called Our Police Are Better Than Yours. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. All right, it's let's... only for your live stream, though. All right. This is just a little exclusive here from the Daily Dose oh, of Donnie. Let me uh, 20, get over to my other stream. 20, yeah, 20 right. seconds. I'm going to press play on here. I'm going to give it a little thumbs up, even though it's an unlisted video. Let's find out what's happening. Whoa, that was close. Very, very close right there. Man, this weather is making me look depressed in this background. 
Uh, very grayscale right here. But that's kind of it, you know what I mean? Like, you've edited the colors out so everything looks gray because Russ uh, can't see in color anyway. So you wanted him to feel, um, you know, appreciated. Well, I wanted him to really notice the black and white. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. You've got very close with this. Bro, I've paused it on the screen. That is about two millimeters away from total carnage. Um, you, this is not the sort of ground you want to crash in. It's where you get rocks and granite in your yeah. uh, in your motors. But, um, yeah, very, very cool it's stuff there. Literally, like, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I like it. Is that the closest call you've had while flying, Donnie? Uh, on trying to do a flip or something? Yes. Nice. Like, I... I would have I would have hit usually like I, I I was really impressed that my skills caught that in time to save it. <laughs> that's but what now, it, that's later what on in this about, my clip, it, I mean it's not in this of course, but in the full video, I ended up wiping out under that tree and I was tumbling towards that police car and I was just like no no don't bump into them like I mean I'm cool with them and all but man I don't want to, have to explain that I messed up because I was showing off for yep, you. Yep yep. <laughs> Chris Mell is saying, did you see the cop? Can you see him in this video? Oh, wait, is that a cop yeah, there in like the silver that? car? Yeah, there's a police well, car there. Sorry. That's why I said our police are better than yours. Sorry, like, I, I, didn't, know. I, didn't, I didn't know that that was a cop car because they look very different in Australia. That just looks like a standard right. silver SUV to me. But this one... Oh, uh, right, I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, over there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Did he even care? No, no. I mean, like... There was one person I called up there because there was a rumor about me being like a creepazoid. I'm like, why is it that everybody automatically... Anyone who flies a drone, like they're like, hey, he's yeah. spying on me and, and that sort of stuff. And, yep, and yep. it's funny too is because when I got into it, other people were like, oh, I always get the, how fast does it go? How high? I always get, can you look at people with it? <laughs> like, that's my first, like, I'm like, no, that's, you're the person that I don't want buying one. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. It's about spreading the the positivity and the uh, the the media definitely has vilified drones quite a lot. Oh, big time! So, which big is a bit time. of a shame. But what else has been going on there, man? Looks like the weather is turning a, a little bit. It's yeah. very sunny over here. I'm looking forward to some good weather after being indoors all winter and the, on lockdown and that sort of stuff. Have you got had any snow yet over there? No, I mean it. it it's kind of snowed, uh, not in, so much in my area, but. Some of Detroit area, some of up north where old Ross over there in the caveman area. Yep, yep. Area and uh, it's gotten some, but it hasn't stuck. Like right now, it's raining where I'm at. Like it's forty something and raining. That's in it's, freedom it's, units, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, in Fahrenheit. Yeah, which is that's a oh, ten. No, I had a conversion here. <laughs> he says that's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. License to drive saying, I hate the mentality that's been drummed into the general yeah. public by tabloid like and lazy journalism. The drones equals equals privacy invasions. Uh, do you know one time, that's Donnie, exactly it. I, uh, I actually was asked if some a, a newspaper uh, who was uh, talking to my wife about some art articles and stuff because she makes a little bit of art. Anyway, um, and then they happened to be talking about what I do and they rang me up. I'm like, hey, you want to do a story? Blah, 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 blah. And uh, I was pretty much like, I, I didn't appreciate some of these articles you did in the past on drones. So like the misrepresentation and the uh, the pictures in the title were completely misleading to the public. I was like, so I don't want to be involved. I felt like just to uh, throw it back at him. Just a, just right, a little right. bit to let them know that, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, you don't get a story because look at you've been, you know, doesn't. But that, and ways. that's sad too because they will find somebody that will do that because that's what they want to do they want to demoralize this because then it gives the glomerate people the more freedom to go ahead and say yeah it's just unsafe for y'all citizens we're taking over yeah <laughs> yeah so <laughs> too it's, it's sad do we, so so you can get delivered hamburgers yeah well so, you know yeah. we got that I, i'm still <laughs> optimistic you know like you were saying earlier uh how it's still a lot of places are still going to have to have a human behind the scene of, of stuff. Like, you, you just, you, yeah, you're just going to. Like, I'm kind of scared of this whole DGI FPV combo. I mean, at the same time, it's kind of what got me into this. Um, Why are you, you scared know, of it? I, uh, because I'm thinking it might be almost the same type of deal as what happened with me. So, with me, I got into this to make money, and most people already know that, but it still brings me back to the roots of RC 
vehicles. I started, I raced cars when I was little. I got trophies for that. Like, I, so I know the RC world and I love the hobby world. But I bought this drone to shoot videos and stuff, this Bebop yep. from Parrot. And it was an FPV combo. Like, it came with goggles that you put your phone in. And it was like, and I was like, okay, well, the latency is so bad. <laughs> yeah, but look at this. this is, that's exactly what we're no, talking I'm about. That's a, no, no, no let, I'm, I'm, hang on. I'm, I'm going to say ahead. that yep. you got you got you into the hobby. And now look where you are, where you're ripping around with some freestyle things in the park. Like, it transitioned you and got you here. So don't be scared of that if we're going to bring other people into the hobby that, well, that exact same I, way. I'm, I know. Well, I'm going to reiterate that, like, it still will bring people in that really want to go into the real side of these. And I like building your own and maintaining your own that that's where your that's where your FPV pilot to me is. Yep. Like to be able to buy this find and fly thing. Like, and there's people out there that can do that. And it's fine, you know, more power to you. Like literally they'll break something and they'll either just turn around and try to sell it and then buy something else because they will not take the time to learn how to either solder or even figure out how it works. Yeah, you got to. How much bad. money though? A FPV pilot's going to be able to make. I would advertise right now that you can fix DJI thing, but DJI will have them repaired. As they have their own repair people. Right. Well, and they got that too. Yeah. 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 I didn't and even that, think about that yeah. aspect of it. Yeah. And if you can afford but, the DJI combo, you, you pay the extra. I think they pay sixty bucks a year or a month or something yeah. for the the refresh thing. And as long as you've got the quad. And it wasn't super right. your fault, but it's an FPV quad, so maybe that won't be a thing. They'll be like, no, sorry. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. Like I said, yeah. and, and now this one, this one scares me. I took it out when I did my uh, motorcycle uh, little thing, like, and it literally lost control again, and it did its own little autonomous freaking flight, and I was just like, hey, do I clap? Do I yell at you? Like, like the <laughs> Is this the b Is this the b -bop? Yeah, like, and yeah. It, it just anonymously did its own thing, and That's not scary. only that, uh, if you all checked out my little uh, daily dose that I mentioned about how we did the news of the DJI a month ago, yep. uh, I went ahead and did a little bit of Google search on my own. And as of, uh, what was it, June of this year, all DJI stuff that's 250 grams or more will have a certain type of receiver in it. So, hey, you know. You know, Again, you, you carry a phone that knows where you're at all the time, so I guess yeah. what's the big deal, right? Um, <laughs> what's Otis, another device? <laughs> Moonrunner's saying fake news will kill the hobbies. Thank you very much for that donation there, Moonrunner. We've got Cellus in the house as well. And it starts saying, isn't refresh $130 uh, for M2P per year? I don't know what that... Yeah, was. I had no idea. I just uh, yeah. bought an arbitrary figure out of my ass, basically. Yeah, but yeah. I know they perfect. It's like the GoPro thing. Like a GoPro bit. Plus or something like that. All yeah. right. Well, Donnie, I know we meant these are just short little segments for Daily Dose of Don. What else is happening, my friend? Any uh, last words before we get you on next week? Any other big announcements or anything like that? You're going to keep ripping, keep practicing, or what's going on? Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I... Yeah, well, that's another rabbit hole. But uh, just a little quick reminder for the little Michigan meetup. If you're new yep. and don't know and you're in Michigan, we have a little spot there on UAD. I'll, I'll show people Discord there. Server. I've spelt it correctly now. I spelt Michigan correctly. <laughs> right on. All right. Um, so uh, there's a few that I've tagged in there that still haven't replied. So maybe get over there and reply right. to that. Chaos R7 we... driver Chris Mel, It's Dart Toxic Kush and FP Drew. Uh, there we go. looks like you guys are organizing something right there yep. about meeting up, having a flight, and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be over there. All right, Donnie, um, any final words? Uh, nothing but love. Nothing but love. You're all too <laughs> easy, too easy, as I like to say. Thank you very much, Donnie. That was our daily, Donnie. daily yep. dose of Donnie. <laughs> too easy. All right, catch you, Donnie. So that's it. Let's find out how many likes we're up to. What is the time? How long we've been streaming for? And then we might be doing a giveaway. Man, I've got so many windows open. Um, I've still got this guy going. Oh, Will, ask, uh, Will Haynes ask if you've ever tried League of Legends. Um, I think like before I did drones in like 2012 or something, I did that for... Uh, it's pretty old like, now, that Like game, a week right? or something? I don't know. It was, yeah. it was a bit frustrating for me. For me. I've got so many windows, anonymous drones, Mexican cartel drone, DJI video, drone catches bad guys. Here's what Reddit thinks, Wakira 250. Um, 
All right, we're playing up. a lot of Rocket League now too. So if you guys ever see us in the live stream chat, then you want to play some chat, Rocket League? Yep. Yeah. Jump in. Um, let's see. Celis is saying, "Did I hear Raven's sexy voice?" Oh, I'm so happy to have the co-host. It does uh, make it a <laughs> very enjoyable stream. I enjoy having him on here. We're gonna have to do something special for him as well. If you've got some ideas for Raven, please. E I mean, Raven, please email me. We've got 112 people watching. 80 minutes of stream time down. We're about to do a giveaway in just a little bit. Oh, Granger's in the chat. Granger's Sorry, saying, dude. "How's the new mic?" Geez, what's going? What's wrong with my microphone? It's not. Is it bad? Bad? Is it good? I don't it's know. It's probably saying it looks like this big thing. Oh, on your face. okay. Because it's in the in the foreground. In the video. Here background. we go. Yo, yo, yo. This one's just just for you here, Granger. I wish Granger. I would love to do a podcast with Grant Granger. Get him over here, just talking talking some rubbish. He's got a good sense of humor. But um, I reckon that he his commitment level would be when you're 18 years old on a Saturday morning. He's probably been out all Friday night. Uh, on the town or something like that. He, the last thing he's going to want to do is come into a podcast or something like that. So there we go. Grain just saying one invite away. We will see, mate. We will see. Maybe I'll have to pay him as a co-host. Uh, JFPV saying, Stu, did you get my email? Maybe. Um, I do have a lot of emails to go and check there, uh, Jay. So I've got to I've got to check that. Um, Random saying he's compensating. <laughs> Leave me alone, guys. Apparently, two inches is all you need, right? Um, <laughs> three hours ago, Granger said. Oh, really? Bloody you, hell. You, I want like 8.30 in the morning. That's yuck, a good Yuck, you dog. Um, and Celis is saying, I'd like to do a podcast with Granger. Uh, taking a choice between the three dates. Like a dating game. All right, there you go. Um, and people talking about some fresh installs of Windows, uh, Raven, or whatever you're talking about right there. Oh, Will Haynes is saying that he did a new PC build and Rocket League wouldn't open. I imagine he's just put his old SSD in the brand new computer and that's not what you're supposed to uh, do. Okay. All right. All right. Um, no, I'm fresh installed. With my SSD. Anyway, All sorry. right. Um, and it starts sending through some $10 love as well, saying just because. Thank you very much. That's actually made my heartbeat go down. We are at the mm. resting heartbeat of, let's see if I can get it to decrease. It's at 72 right now. That bacon really did. Yeah. Like, I've never realized that before. Like, usually it's you like, test it like at 55, again. 60. That's at mm. least 10 beats per minute. Half Does that mean my heart, heart is working harder to pump that yep. blood around because I'm all clogged up from bacon? Yep. I don't want to have bacon again. It kind oh. of makes you think. Of, well, you can just cook it differently. So use an air fryer. Okay. And then, and then it drains all the fat away, all those George Foreman grills, and then you still get the taste. You just don't get all the, you know, all the grease. It is definitely greasy. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> a random saying, Granger yeah. been out chasing the ladies. Uh, we've got some radars. Uh, Will is talking about use the Epic Games launch. I don't know, Will. What's going on mm -hmm. right there? Kiz is asking, uh, random saying, Kiz, can I have my sausage back, please? Thought he's going to go do some, he's got some cleaning to do at the local grocery store. And what? No more bacon. Uh, look, there's a lot of bacon uh, sausage chat right here. We're going to be doing a giveaway. Let's put that together. Uh, it starts. I'll be adding your name on the list. This is the shortlist giveaway, so thank you very much. You've got some entries in there. Thank you for using the Streamlabs link as well, because that means YouTube doesn't take 30 to 40%. Everybody else, this is the giveaway. We're going to do this in about a minute's time. So if you click on the link in the description, you can go sign up. Uh, all I need is a name and an email. And we're going to draw... Something a called? It's called this quad, whatever this. The hyperbola or whatever. No, get out! I'm not even, not even biting. The other one, you're right, is the hyperbola there, my friend Raven. But we're not even going to pronounce the other one that you want me to say. And Byron. uh Limbo Drones for FPV Noob says, "Can you show my first fly? I can put in the link. Well, if you put it in the Discord, we might check it out. Uh, let's have a look here. If it's in share your vids here, let's see." Share your vids here. We've got one from Chris Mel, uh, who's ripping. All right, we're going to watch Chris Mel's one, and then um, if Limbo posts his in there as well, we might oh, do that. Oh, yuck. What? Microwave bacon between paper towels. Who's doing oh. that? It's, um, it's darts. Yuck, bro. You can't. Dude, it's got to be fried. No microwave. That's yuck. disgusting. Boiled bacon. <laughs> oh, man. My daddy used to do that. Let's let's uh, let's awful. Let's see what's going on with Chris Mel and his. <laughs> let's let's give him a soundtrack. Let's have a look here. Um, you do it with a steak as well, darts. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna. Go. Is great. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Let's see. This one. This is what we're playing. Do you get this sound? Whatever this sound is. All right. Here we go. All right. He's got his rental truck there. Cruising out. Hey, this looks like there. where. Yeah, I yeah. am. This looks like where oh, I yeah. am. Uh, yeah. Where I fly around at the field of dreams. Uh, that sort of sunset. It reminds me of me flying around some of my winter flights, actually. The Emax cool, Buzz, six inch bi blades. Ooh, it's got some punch. Nice. Mm. Uh, the golden hour is hitting. You've got that one lone tree out there. The GoPro 9, 8. Don't know. We tested out some new ND filters with the GoPro Hero 9. All right, driving go. around after the truck. Wait up, wait up. Have we. Chris, have we seen your videos before, brother? Did you show us a video where you had a pool in the backyard and you ripped a pack for me? Was that you or am I getting you confused with someone else? Uh, Mike's Adventure, uh, he's saying um, eat 420 meat pies right there. Is uh, haven't saying- Oh, pot grinder. <laughs> Is it holy? Crap, your Discord has 13,000 people. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you bot grinder, what's going on, brother? We're just, uh, we're doing the the bot challenge, right? I got this new thing called the Stew Challenge, and uh, we just hang out and watch people's videos and join my Discord. <laughs> Oh, Not this, really. The coin is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love a bot. Yeah, the bot coin is pretty, pretty oh, rude. We don't have any challenges or anything like that. We're just watching this video before a giveaway, hanging out and having some fun. Are you saying, well done, lads? Nothing but love, as Donnie would say, poor <laughs> bot grinder. Yeah, um, very, very nice dude who uh, probably at near the top of my people to meet. And uh, I don't even know if it'd be like going for a rip or going for a flight. It would actually just be like hanging out, playing some Rocket League and uh, crashing at his place and having some fun. So that's, that's what I'd want to do if I was ever I'd be fangirling out. all over the place for the first <laughs> half an hour or so. Like when I first <sighs> met you, I was like, Stu, can you say, uh, can you, you got to say it, <laughs> say it. Say just what? say it. Oh, the g'day. I was like, g'day! Yeah. Raven and Raven just <laughs> slid off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the song's up. That's it. That's what you get, Chris Mel. All right, jump it over here. Let's do Let's do a giveaway, guys. What do you reckon? That's why I find funny, though. Bot Grind's probably got someone that he would want to meet. I reckon X-Jet, he would fangirl over X-Jet. And yeah. I would, too, actually. Yeah, me, so too. Me, too. Um, let's see. He's saying, yeah, I'd imagine we would just chill and not even touch quads. Yeah, that, that probably is true for, for people who work in the FPV scene constantly. Like, when mm. you're doing it every day. It's like sometimes I jump on Discord and people are like, hey, Stu, drone question, drone question, drone question. Like, yeah, uh, bro, you want to play some want to play some video games? Or uh, yeah. just talk just some out. rubbish? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do a giveaway. Let's have a look who you, who is going to win our me matey, your land lovers. We have have a guess. And don't I'm... forget, Bot Grinder starts his stream in approximately half an hour. There you go. So you can go check out a Bot Grinder stream. The oh well, well is it half an hour or an no, hour? And isn't a half, it? Isn't, I I don't know. We moved hours because of daylight savings and that sort of stuff. But yeah, yeah Bot Grinder doing arguably one of the top streams on the internet, at least in the top ten of FPV live streams that's happening like today. Maybe at least top 15. Um, <laughs> I think oh, he pulls he's in, on the nah, trending page. No, nah, he, yeah, he pretty much uh, pulls in the most. Bot Grainer has a very, very cool stream. I watch it quite a bit, actually. Three, four, two, seven. Let's do it. you got to keep him generated. Whoa, it's an hour and a half. Whoa, 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 what, an hour and a half. Till Bot uh, stream, stream starts. All right. Yep. Uh, what did I say? Three, four, two, seven. That's a high one. No, no, uh, three, uh, three, four, two, eight. I was talking about Bot Grinder. Oh, uh, boom, boom. Sorry. There we go. Uh, like my heartbeat, too many meat pies right there. We're down to 67. It must be, the fat must be working out. <laughs> we're out at, we're at 65. We're in the green. 66. We can keep it down low. No more scary noises. We should be all right. All right, we're going to do a giveaway. Let's find out who the winner's going to be. You tell me when to click, click the button there, Raven. Now. I knew he was. Oh, 579. It's a bit of a low one. Could be anyone. That's good. 579, 579. Let's find out who that is going to be. And scrolling up, 579. I got to ask too, Bot Grind, if you're watching, how is our Cyberbug been lately, bro? You been enjoying it? <laughs> you should just call it Cyberbug. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so buggy, unfortunately. 
Yeah. Here's here's that's probably look. I've been I've been on the hype train as much as anybody else. Mm. Um, but <laughs> hey, you know what? We might actually have a winner. No joke. I was going to show you something too. Let's delay it a little bit. I was going to show you something about Cyberpunk you would have laughed at. You know, Star Citizen. Mm -hmm. But this is even more irony because uh, Cyberpunk's delayed. They had a thing making fun of Star Citizen coming out soon or and a big billboard in the Cyberpunk universe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then they've delayed their game. So how could... Ah. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Bot Grinder saying cyber, Cyberpunk is so fun, dude. Well, it's... it's I, don't, I didn't really think that'd be Bot Grinder's jam. He don't like futuristic sci-fi robot stuff. He doesn't like punk stuff, so... I can't imagine... punk stuff? Uh, he doesn't like punk stuff. Kidding? He doesn't like video games. He don't like... He doesn't seem like that sort of... Oh, that's he likes you PC, now, you know. <laughs> people like... I don't know. You got me. Taking... Uh, just getting influenced with uh, augmentations. I can't even understand if, why... He, I don't know. But then he's like a huge Animal Crossing fan, so there we go. All right. You know what? I think we got a winner, Raven. No joke. Really? I think I've seen this person in the chat. Maybe even... I do need a new quad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, congratulations, Sean. Winner Williams. You've won another quad. Not really. This is for the HDLRC Veyron quad right here. This mm. Cine Woot quad. Uh, whatever this is. It's coming your way with a UAV Futures mug. Believe it or not. Uh... Guys, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Pretty it. sure. 579. Sure 579. Check it out. If I'm going to screen share. Congratulations. 507. So. What? 507. You changed it. No, I didn't. No, no, no. The number. It is 579. The name. The username. Oh. 507. Oh, sorry. Uh, you know that, sorry. dude? Uh, he's in the chat all the time. 507, if you are here, uh, Dan is his name. He didn't put his full name in here. Please send me an email here, 507, um, following the rest of that. You have one, and we can organize. Oh, he's here. He is in the chat. He's here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. S send that email. Oh, I know him. Yeah, 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 yeah. There yeah. we go. He's in the chat right now. Five, 507, you actually won. The number that was drawn was f entry number 579. So because your name is 507RC, like it's getting confusing. But bro, this was your entry entry number 579. I've just drawn all over it. I've drawn almost an awkward looking picture right there. Yeah. Let's just finish this off. You know, just the tip, right? Just the tip. Mm. Um, 579. That was 579. The winner was Dan, whose email is 507. Don't forget to email us. Uh, yeah, you got to email me. There you go. So you have to email me. My email address is uavfutures at gmail.com. Congratulations. The winner is in the chat. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I knew it was a good day. So there good we go. Stuff. Hopefully we've made your day. Thanks for uh, tuning in, 507, week in, a week out. Of course, you've been around the Discord for a long time as well. I've seen you in the chat here, seen you in the Discord. It's just, uh, I'm pretty sure you're in the Discord all the time, or I've seen your little logo here on YouTube quite a lot, so thank you. Um, he does heaps of good work for on the FPV Freedom Coalition uh, too, so uh, he does lots of good work on our behalf, um, sort of trying to liaise with the FAA, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's him 100%. There we go. I think. So please so, yeah, make sure you email though. me right now, 507. You've got half an hour. Get it done. My email address is in the description, uavfutures at gmr.com. It's also on my About page. Um yeah, send me one an email. One of the first 100. There we you go. Said. Oh, yeah, on, on the Discord. Yep, so he, yeah. he's he been around for a long time. Yeah, you won there, brother. So there you go. It feels great to uh, give back um, a long time. Drew looks like he was a bit mad right there. Rod Zillas was saying, hey, Stu, what's going on, you rafty Rod? Hope you're having a good day. Rod, are you tuning in from the waffle station as well? That's That sounds inappropriate, but yeah, no. Rod's waffles. Um, <laughs> Drew just got stomped. <laughs> like uh mike andrews is saying so what's the next giveaway going to be uh i'm not too sure we're gonna have to th we'll have to think about that um mm. i want to say man thanks so much for coming on the show raven thanks so much for everybody no who's watching uh what yeah, do you got on good. for the rest of the day brother oh it's raining here. it's one of those nice days so i've got enough food where i don't have to go out today i don't think and you might have to play some you. rocket league later yeah uh, the new season just started, so I actually bought the pass. Oh. And you know me, I never spend money on or video I try games. Not spend money on games. Yeah, so. yeah. We've got you down that rabbit hole. When I met you, uh, when uh, when we met, it was a summer. No, I don't know what this song is, but I'm making it up as we go. Um, but you were like, yeah, not really into gaming. Under the boardwalk. <laughs> 
Oh, so look, that's it with the live stream. We're just hanging out now, just talking absolute rubbish. But you know what? We have Ace Bockrinder still here because Bockrinder, I got a video for you that I wish I could. You got to watch this one. This is my latest video. Have you ever seen this before? It's absolute gold. I think this is what we need to end on right here. You already know what it is, ladies and so gentlemen. In tasting. What we do is it's take beautiful. a full amount right off the top. That's it. It doesn't take much. Other than that, the warmest part subscribe right for more FPV-related content. <laughs> and as always, warm it up. Over all 9, oh, God, it's beautiful. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10. Warm it up. Grabbing up. That top note. That cream. Top note. That cream. That vanilla. Pure vanilla. <laughs> it's cold. Sweeteners. <laughs> See you guys. Oh, all right, catch you, Raven. You're out, brother. That's it for me. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Thank you so much for everybody's here. R R five seven zero. Send me an email, brother, so we can hook you up with a quad. Um, I will be back in two days' time. And as always, happy flying. Thanks for everybody who was here, who hit the like button, who gave me some thumbs up, thumbs down. I wanted you to enjoy it. There is some show notes as well. Uh, on a serious note, if you are struggling with your mental health, anxiety, depression, anything like that, please check the links out down below. I've been struggling myself a little bit. I want to bring a little bit of awareness to it. I don't want you to feel alone or feel isolated or anything like that. There is help out there. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. So I want you to have a good day. Why? Because you are worth it. You all have value. And just I just want to say I appreciate you being here. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you had a great day, a great night. We're going to be back in in two days time um subscribe for more fpv or related content and as always happy flying and I'll, I'll go get charlie some dog snacks as well because he is absolutely zonked uh right now so i do have a few little snacks right there to give him but uh we're not going to be doing it right this moment i'm going to wait till he wait till he gives up but i will go buy some more dog treats for next time anyway happy flying Oh, I thought you were gone, bro. I thought you were gone. We're still live and rolling this last song. I think someone said, if I just check here, we had 118 thumbs up and a one thumbs down. That's not bad. That's not bad. Pretty good. I was trying to... That was me. <laughs> was no, it? it was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's probably Drew when we just stomped him. I don't know what, you know, what... What did Drew say? I didn't even see. I saw him say the... I saw him say... Um, the the F bomb, but I wasn't sure what it was what it was about. Uh, didn't, I missed his earlier comment. Uh, let's see. See so if you can unhide him because I just was gonna. Oh, view deleted him. message. Oh yeah, it, it did say uh, F U lol. <laughs> okay. And then no, mix mix sweaty. Oh, mix sweaty said thanks for the stream, but I think he spammed it about 60,000 60, times. Bye bye bye. Um. Other people say night, Raven and Stu, night, fam. See you all later. Have a good night. That's from Will. If you can unhide Drew too, I can't get to the Oh, no, I did, I did. It's up to you. He did, I did. He should be able to. I think it's only in a timeout as well. Um, no, I think Gunner uh, probably accidentally hit. Uh, delete or hide you. All right, I'll have a look here. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go back through and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. Um, Drew, if you could type a message, please let us know. Um... Let's see. Ah, oh, yep, I see, I see. Hmm. I'm not sure how to reverse it. Yeah, alright, alright. I can do that right now. Driving up that top note. That cream. Alright, let's see. Is the music still going? Live stream still still happening the last little bit before you guys go. Whew. Yeah, the uh, general FPV chat quickly, Magic A just posted a discount code for Velocidro. Oh, there you go. What, one of those 5% ones? Probably, I'm guessing, from what you get with TBS or whatever. Let's see. Playlist analytics comments. Hmm. Subscribers, that's what I need to find. Let's have a look. I'm not too sure. All right, I'm gonna have a look and see if it's where, see how I can find Drew. Yeah, worst case, we'll work it out. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure you could get a band list on your YouTube channel. Yeah, I do have a couple of people on there. Um, <laughs> Malice. 
<laughs> Malice effects. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. I'm out. I've been. I'm going to figure right. this out. But right, thanks everybody for tuning in, and I will catch you on Discord. Right